I should probably quit while I'm ahead. Let's see what we've got to work with here. Enter username. Enter password. Angry bitch. Okay, that didn't work. Type login ID, pass reset. Huh, um... Admin? No? Okay. Let's... Ooh, circular indentation. It's a round indentation on the side of the monitor. It looks like it can open. I can't do anything with this while it's closed. Goodbye. There's nothing to jack it into here. There's got to be something I can use. <laughs> Maybe if I look closer I can find somewhere to plug it into. Top drawer, second drawer, third drawer, and bottom drawer. And you know what? I'll even stick her in there. That seems to be about it. Ooh, there's a clock there. According to the clock, it's just a couple of minutes after 7.30 in the morning. Can't reach it. And there's nothing else in here. Okay. Hi. Yes. So why the filing cabinet when you have the biggest computer system I've ever seen? The Antivorda project is not a database for business and administrative data. For that, we're still in the Stone Ages. Okay, same answer for all of them. Oh wait, it only shows up as the third drawer? Oh, okay. So, what do you do here? Excuse me? What do you do? What's your job? Oh, I watch the box. That's it? If you really want to know, I sit here, do my paperwork, and make sure only authorized personnel touch the box. What sorts of personnel are authorized? A couple of doctors, some suits. Suits? You know, government guys. With suits. So, this is some kind of government project? Look, I told you, I just watched the box. Gotcha. Hmm. You look like you're in the middle of something important. I'm just writing a strongly worded email to my boss. Who so that's the same thing again. Would you happen to have the login information for the mainframe system handy? Shouldn't you already know it, being the maintenance man and all? Yeah, but see, I got here in a hurry and sort of left it behind. Sorry, Casanova, but I can't just give that information away. Security protocols and all that. Maybe try contacting your supervisor? Thanks. Hmm. Let's open the drawer. Drawer is full of cotton swabs. Guess it couldn't hurt to have some around. Let's see, if we go back into the terminal, maybe we can use these. Can't do anything with this while it's closed. Clean my ears this morning, I'm not really sure why there are a bunch of cotton swabs in this office though. Hmm. Goddamn, what to do? What to do? Well, my goals... I still gotta get rid of the secretary, but how am I gonna do that? I thought you were ma- What? 
Only janitors collect the garbage. Oh, I was, um, just looking for an outlet. I see. Yeah, come on, move. I thought you were- What? Only- Oh. Uh hmm. Can I open the third drawer? I'll have to get rid of the secretary before I can check out the filing cabinet. Can't use the computer while she's here. I'll have to get rid of her. So how in the fuck am I gonna do that? Don't have any reason to swab that. Don't have a reason to swab that. I'll swab so what her. are the cotton swabs for? I assume a technician like yourself would know. I do. Just making conversation. Huh. Now this is... annoying. Unused cotton swab swipe from the Antivore project. Hmm. Don't have any reason. And probably don't have any reason. Huh. Yeah. And there's very little I can do with my phone. Because I know all this already. Huh. Hum de hum de hum. I mean, there's only so many things I can interact with. I mean, I've got to discuss hey something there. with her. Yes. But what? I'd like to get to know you better. Seriously, Romeo. Not happening. Can I piss her off till she leaves? I'd like to get... Ser no. Hmm. Thanks. Hmm. Ooh, this is a toughie. It really is a toughie. Um. Right, I'm gonna just pause this until I can figure something out here. Hopefully back in a sec, guys. Okay, so apparently you know, I gotta talk about the clock with her. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? Clock! Say, would you happen to know what time it is? Sure, let me check. Crap, 7.30 already? Look, sir, my shift's over and I gotta get going. I don't know where the next girl is, but she should be here any minute. Actually, something tells me she's going to be delayed. I'm supposed to lock the door if I'm not here, but... Are you going to be okay in here alone? I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Good. Just keep an eye on the box for me, and don't let anyone touch it, okay? No matter who they say they are. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Evil plan completed. Hundreds of folders in here, each with a serial number on the label. Which folder should I look at? Hmm. We'll find out. E. Walters. I'll just keep notes of any passwords I come across in my phone. Doesn't really do anything by itself, but it does when I do this. Run passcrack.exe. Checking username. E. Walters is valid. And her password is password. Or is it password one? We'll find out. Just password. Right. Fucking idiot. Running a bit late, eh? From Sarah, sent today. Emma, sorry, going to be a bit late. I left my apartment and my tires were slashed. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck? Who would do that? Hope you see this before you take off at 7.30. 
can you cover me for me till I get in? I'll just be an hour or so. Now I gotta deal with this asshole tow truck driver who thinks I'm interested in hearing about his ex-wife. Uh, maybe it was a bit mean to uh, slash the tires, but fuck it. From Orvaldez, sent today. Hey, could you email me my anti Vorta login and password? I need to send it to someone and can't remember. Send it right away. Ooh, wrong way, wrong fucking right, you idiot. Uh, approved visitor list. Attention all anti Vorta personnel. Today's list of approved terminal users are Dr. Allen, Dr. Schumacher, Congressman Lemon, Dr. Valdez. Anyone else attempting to access the terminal should be reported immediately. And approve visitor list for Saturday. Arnold Gramble, Dr. Bellows, Dr. Allen, Frederick Heimlin, Dr. Fedorov, myself. Oops, and Monday. Emma, could you switch with me on Monday? Sorry. Can you work on Tuesday? Emma, something important just came up. I'd really like to change shifts with you on Tuesday. Can you work the 7.30 to 5 shift and I'll take the graveyard? Really important. Okay. Went to drafts. Ha <laughs> ha, dear idiot. Dr. Valdez, seriously, were PhDs on clearance at your college? First of all, my name is not Hey, it's Emma. Second of all, turn off your caps lock. It doesn't make you sound important, it makes you sound like an idiot. Can't remember your anti Vorta login? Again? I can't even count how many times I've explained this to you. Please study this as carefully as you study the front of my blouse. It's the first three letters of your first name and the first three letters of your last name. Not hard, and I can't send you your password because I don't even know it. You'll have to use the system to reset it if you can't remember. And for God's sakes, do not give anyone your password. Tech support will never ask for your login information. Sincerely, hey. P.S. Right does not equal right. P.P.S. Don't throw your aluminum cans in the non-recyclable trash can when there's a recycling bin in the hallway, you simpleton. Okay, so... The first... So it's something Val. Or... Space Space Val. Yeah, I'll send that. Haha! <laughs> Just because! Re, let's meet. From Mr. Single 813. My love, I think you're right. It's time to meet. I know this place near Aventine General Hospital. The Fairmont Inn. There's a fantastic restaurant on the top floor. Let's get dinner tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Love, Steve. A deep connection from Mr. Single 813. Dearest Amy, our conversation last night was incredible. My fingers were cramping up from clacking away at the keyboard all night chatting with you. I almost couldn't grip the steering wheel in my race this morning. I won it anyways. I just feel this deep connection with you that has grown over the past couple of days. I can't explain it. We're just on the same wavelength. I haven't had anyone I could talk to like this in a long time. I hope you feel the same way. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Mr. Single 813. Dear Amy, Wow, a detective? Really? Can you imagine us teaming up? I'd speed us around town chasing after villains. You'd examine clues to lead us to their next high-speed chase. Um, we'd be superheroes. Here's the dreaming anyways. I find the fact that you're a detective to be very attractive. This matchmaking service turned out pretty great. I'm glad I gave it a shot. Can't wait to hear from you again. Uh, dear Mystery Woman, I've never tried any of these matchmaking services, so I'm not really sure how this works. I guess I start by introducing myself. My name is Steve. I'm a profes professional race car driver living in Upper East Side Aventine. I like action and having fun and dislike sitting in offices and wearing suits. Grrr, bad suits. My life moves as fast as my stock car down the final stretch and that's how I like it. I'm looking for someone to take to the movies and enjoy some fine dining on the town. Even though my life is fast-paced, I don't mind taking it slow with relationships. If, as this single's website is calculated, we are right for each other, we'll definitely have a good time. Ooh, that's wrong. Right is not right! Yeah.
Hmm. Nothing in trash. Right. Let's back out of there. Take the empty pop can. Uh, might find a use for it. I already have a use. I'm going to cotton swap it. Think these things are used for cleaning out ears, not cleaning out discarded aluminum cans. I'm going to need to swab it at some point. Maybe I just don't realize it yet. Um, you know, I'm just going to try this. Stevel. Unknown user. Ah, no. Resume. Okay, back to the computer. Um, did it say Valdez's name in anything? Stupid password. Uh, running late. No, that was from... That's Valdez. Thank you. I don't know what is or Valdez. Let's go to goals first. We're the secretary. Hack into mainframe. We're going to work on that. And Divorta. Notes. Email system. E. Walters. Password. User. Or. Valdez. Wait. Uh, I thought his username was the first three letters in, of each name, not just Or. Valdez. Maybe he's Roger Valdez? No. Did it say in my phone anything about uh, Memo Antiforta? No. Hmm. Let's search these drawers, then. Folder number one. Orvaldez? Maybe in the second drawer? No, nothing in the second drawer. Maybe the third drawer. No. Yeah. Bottom drawer. Hmm. FR346 to ME. AA001 to FR345. TB229. ZZ999. Hmm. Shit. Actually, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. I could have just fucking done this. And it would have saved me a minute or two of running around like an idiot. Yeah, checking username. Username valid. His password is... Saturday. Saturday is his password. Mm. Okay. Okay, Mr. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, anyway. Oh, how's your girth? 
Hello, valued customer. You've tried our 100% effective lengthening pills and you're undoubtedly running out of ruler. But are you concerned with your girth? Studies show that the ladies prefer something robust. With our new pill, the Everwide, you'll be putting your money where her mouth is. Sign up today. Oh. <laughs> That's just brilliant. Abasia Kamim Ruby sent today. Dear Mr. Valdez, I thank you for answering my prayers. Finally, I can reclaim my late father's fortune in return for helping me transfer the funds to America. I will give you two million dollars. How quickly can you wire me the money for the fund transfer? If we don't do it soon, the men who killed my father may stop me. Please send me your bank account number and wire me the funds immediate in immediately. Thanks be to Jesus, Father Anthony St. Michael. My god, this guy is a fucking retard. Oh, he's Ramon Valdez. Right, so it's Ramval. Damn, he never got back to me on this. Dr. Valdez, this is Mitch down in Texport. How's your wife, Pamela? Say, we're having some issues with your anti Vorta login. Could you send me your login and password ASAP? Thanks, Mitch. Haha, <laughs> dear idiot. Alright. No drafts. Ooh, I knew it was him talking to her. Well, that's for them to figure out. For now, I is smart. So I is do stuff. Ramval. Password sent to email address. Yay! Now we have our email to reset our password. Saturday password reset. Your password is or M or Z. Please delete this email. I don't know how. Oh well. Logging in. Login successful. Insert DNA sample for verification. Hmm. Ho ho. Right. Cotton swabs. Empty pop can. I'll try swabbing the mouth of the can. And there we go. The can swab goes in the hole. Insert DNA sample for verification. Sending DNA sample. DNA authenticated. Welcome back. Or Valdez. Main. Enter command. Help. Search data. Run subroutine. Uh, FTTN Insert DNA sample My god It's a database of people's DNA I should see if they have my DNA in here Okay, cotton swab. I'll just swab my cheek with one of these. Oh yeah. Uh, search three and put my swab in there. Holy shit, Raymond Abbott can't believe this. They have my entire DNA code in here. Without my knowledge or permission? Shit, what have I gotten myself into? Now what? Slash help again. Um, Maybe open door. <sighs> uh, 
Um, well, let's just say slash run and slash help now and see what we get here. Nothing. Slash search. Search Antivorta project files. Enter search criteria. Anything? Hmm. Let's try... Morales. No results found. Abbott? No results found. Valdez. Okay, let's just back out of here for a moment. And see what my phone says. Since it's all smart and stuff. Hack into mainframe, discover purpose, find out if I'm in the database. Ah, A. Batra, that's what I'm forgetting. And that was just me storing his password. Right. Search one A Batra. Displaying A Batra document VL six six eight. Okay. In that case I will open the bottom drawer. And VL six six eight. The Eleven Foundation PO Box two thirteen. It's not much, but it's a start, haven't it? One step closer to Mr. Batra, and one step closer to finding out exactly what the Anti Vorta Project does. So, Anti Vorta is some sort of secret DNA database with possible government connections. I'm not yet sure what its purpose is, but I've got a lead on someone who does. A Batra. The Eleven Foundation. Hmm. I'd better not push my luck any further. Time to make my exit before the next secretary arrives. And I just got the scoop. I got out of that subway. Dad, look! Isn't that Juno Labs? I can't tell. It's not in focus. Oh wait, wait, now it is. Holy shit. We only just played to the title screen. But that fills me with confidence. I had to fuck around <laughs> off camera before we even got to the title screen. That's just amazing. But either way, you know, that's that's enough for now for an intro to it. So we'll leave it at that, and when we come back, our good buddy Ed here is gonna start having a look around at what happened with this here. This crazy explosion and all that water leaking everywhere and the janitor looking all scared and confused over here. Look forward to that, guys. We'll see you next time when we continue Resonance. Thanks for watching.